All right, now that I have my slab all rolled out, next step that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our paper template and put it directly down on the top of your clay. Then what you're going to do is get a sort of sharp tool. You can use a ruler to help guide you, or you can just use the outside of the paper template. So we're going to go ahead and take our first cut. The first cut, um, the first time that you cut through your clay, it's going to be what I like to call a rough cut. The rough cut is just so that you can get the general shape, and it's also so that you can see the thickness of your clay. So if I take this, I didn't get very close to the paper, so I'm going to try that again, going the opposite direction. Go ahead and cut from this direction. This is all my excess clay. We're going to use that a little bit later. Take this and cut down. Now what I have is a rectangle that should be six by nine. It should be matching exactly what I had on my paper template. Next what I need to do is I need to look at it and I need to decide if this is thick enough or too thin. When I look at it, you should be thinking about um, how thick this is. If it is um, thinner than your pinky, then it is too thin. If it is thicker than your index finger, it is too thick. This one right now, it's a little on the heavy, a little on the thick side, so I'm gonna actually roll it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this and take it a little bit further. When I'm rolling it out again, you'll notice that your clay is starting to misshape a little bit from your rolling, so you're going to have to cut again Hence why we made a rough cut, why I'm calling it a rough cut. It was your first draft, it was your just beginning stage. So as I'm taking this, you see that it's really stretching out and becoming no longer much of a rectangle. So I'm going to take my paper template once again. I stretched it out and now it should be thinner. So it's going to be much closer to what I want. You can stop it. 